And then there's one last thing I want to show you in terms of the content options, and that is how to remove some things like this from the page. Okay, this is all fine and dandy on a post, but I don't really want that stuff to show up on this site. And so well, that is really slam dunk simple over here under thesis um, content options and uh, come over to the post and page layout. And all you have to do is turn off the author, turn off the date, and that's gone. Uh, it's really that easy. You could come over here, uh, say, look at one of our... Um, blog posts. You can see that it's left out the author and that kind of stuff. Now, if we came back into our post and page output, and let's say we put our author, author, author avatar, author description, date, and categories, See, there's what it looks like, although I don't have, let's see, let's give myself a users, your profile, and then biographical information. Rick Anderson is a real fine fellow. Don't take my word for it. That's what everybody says. And so, anyway, that's the description. And if we refresh this, then that description is going to show up um, someplace. Oh, yeah, here it is. About the author. Rick Anderson is a real fine fellow. Uh, so you can choose to display those things as well. But I don't want those. I don't want to display those things. So I'm going to turn all of that stuff off. Author, author avatar, description, date, and categories. Okay, and then I think one last thing we're going to do is just kind of take a look at the miscellaneous settings in that same spot. Um, you can see I turned off this WP Admin link. You know, a lot of people want to get rid of the curly braces uh, around the number of comments. And you definitely end up spending a whole bunch of time getting rid of those curly braces, except you can choose just not to display them here now to get rid of those. I'm not going to do that, but... You can do that. And that's essentially the way these this content thing works, right? You can choose to turn on and off various comment elements, sidebar elements, post and page elements, site title and tagline elements. Uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward and um, pretty cool.